What's up guys? Eu estou aqui em Cork, na Irlanda. Eu estou aqui numa escola de inglês onde muitos brasileiros estudam quando eles fazem intercâmbio com IC Group. Isso é uma das sete escolas de inglês aqui em Cork. Estou muito ansioso para o vídeo de hoje porque eu vou conhecer um professor nativo, um professor daqui da Irlanda, é, que tem sotaque e tudo em inglês da Irlanda. Eu tenho um desafio para ele e ele tem um desafio para mim. Eu vou apresentar algumas expressões brasileiras para ele tentar adivinhar o que significam essas expressões e ele vai apresentar algumas expressões da Irlanda para eu tentar adivinhar. Então, vamos entrar. All right, guys, so I am here in the school. I'm here with Rob. Hey, dude, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm fantastic, thank you. I thought we'd start just kind of like to get warmed up a little bit, mm -hmm. get in the Brazilian spirit okay. <laughs> a little bit. We were lucky enough to find some Brazilian snacks Cool. Here in Ireland. I love food. Yeah. My favorite thing. So you work here and they uh -huh. serve coxinhas here. They do. They so do very sure good coxinhas. There's never a bad time to eat coxinhas. I love one. I love one. Do you know what's in these coxinhas? Am I better off not knowing? <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it one of those kind of foods? No, this is my favorite Brazilian food. Mm -hmm. So you're very lucky that you have a cafe here in your school mm -hmm. that has these because if I worked here, I would only eat this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so what is it, chicken? It's chicken, so it's a dough, and these are actually very tough to make. I've tried ones. Mm -hmm. Do you know what's more difficult than making them? Eating them without yeah, making a mess. Guess, right? <laughs> so, I have a list of Brazilian expressions and the direct translations. So these are literal translations of Brazilian expressions. Yeah. Yeah, if you noticed, once you started this, I started smiling. That means I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this first one, <clears throat> the direct translation into English would be one eye on the fish, one on the cat. Okay. So what does that mean? That's what you have to try to guess. Okay. <laughs> so it, it it would it would be your your you might be doing something kind of illegal or against the rules. Okay. So you kind of have to watch both directions. You're close. You're close. <laughs> you're in the same neighborhood. When you have two situations that you have to keep keep one eye on this this situation and one eye on this situation. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Yeah. So I guess the idea is that you you need to pay attention to two things at once. Okay. Good, 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 nice. And um, what is it in Portuguese? Uh, um olho no peixe, outro no gato. Oh, yeah, okay, I could have got that. <laughs> peixe and gato. Peixe and gato, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Cool, all right, next one. Do you want to give it to me in Portuguese to make it harder? Sure. Go for it. Boca calada, now entra mosca. Boca calada, so mouth hot. Close, okay. close, you got the mouth part right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Boca calada, again. Now entra mosca. No entra mosca, so don't, your mouth doesn't enter. Oof, I don't know. Calada is like close. Close. So closed mouth and mosca is fly. Or yeah. they, they can say, sometimes they say mosquito. Okay. So when your mouth is closed, the flies or the mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. So okay, I, immediately I go to, if you have a closed mind, you won't receive any information. I'm a teacher, so everything guy kind of goes around school, so uh -huh. that, that's, that's what I guess, you know? Yeah, yeah. Not really, not really. <laughs> this one is really... Idiomatic. Yeah, okay, so I'll give you an example. Okay. Let's say you're in a situation, you're at the bar or the pub mm -hmm. here, you're having a, a Guinness, mm -hmm. and you're having a good time, and then, and then somebody comes and starts talking about politics. You'd say, uh, if you have a closed mouth, no mosquitoes can come in. Okay. By the way, you don't drink Guinness. We're in Cork. It's beamish. Uh, but okay. Sorry, I leave you off. Sorry. I leave you off. That's my first, first day. day. First day in Ireland. <laughs> give, give me a break. I will. I will. I will okay. So, oh, it's, it's all of a sudden it seems slightly aggressive that I don't want to listen to the nonsense that you're talking. <laughs> Yeah? You got yeah, it. That's nice, <laughs> thank you. But it was a good example you set me up on. Yeah, well, sometimes a little bit of context goes mm -hmm. a long way, it Makes right? all the difference. Next one is more literal. Mm -hmm. So I think that you'll, you'll be able to get this one. And I'll say it in Portuguese again. Okay, go for it. A mentira tem perna curta. The, the lie has short legs. The pierna, legs, yeah, I got yeah, that, yeah, okay. Yeah. Corta, yeah, short, okay. The lie has short legs. Uh -huh. So if you tell a lie, if, if, if you do something bad to your girlfriend or your boyfriend, whatever, and you lie about it, they're gonna find out really Man, quick. you're on a roll. Yeah, <laughs> nice, 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 nice. O seguro morreu velho. O seguro, security or safety? Yep, or the in this case, the cautious. The cautious? Yep. Okay. The cautious die old. 
<laughs> yeah, good, I like it. Yeah. Boring people live forever. That's it, exactly, right? Yeah. Who wants to do that? Like if it, yeah, so somebody who is cautious, mm -hmm. doesn't take a lot of risks, mm -hmm. they'll live a long life. Yeah. A long but boring life. A long but boring life. Yeah. Yeah. Quem vê a cara não vê a coração. Something about your heart. Something about your heart. Uh, again in Portuguese? Quem vê a cara não vê a coração. Something that won't come to your heart, that doesn't go to your heart. Mm -hmm. Who sees the face, doesn't see the heart. Oh, isn't that <laughs> Who sees it's the po face? It's poetic, right? It's poetic, but it's it's kind of like a don't judge a book by its cover, but exactly. in reverse. Kind That's of exactly, That's exactly the yeah. English translation. Good. If you, had to, if you had to pick an expression. Cool, so, man. Nice. Yeah, nice, yeah, nice cool. expressions. So now mm -hmm. you have some Irish expressions. Right? I do. I so do. Now, I do. now I'm going to be with a smile all nervous. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first one, the first one I have is, is kind of the universal Irish expression. I'm sure everybody knows it. What's the crack? What's the crack? I've heard it like two or three times mm -hmm. while I've been here, mm -hmm. but nobody's explained what it means to me yet. Oof. Okay. So uh, crack literally means fun. Uh, so, so it doesn't mean like crack that you smoke. No, no way, no way. No, we don't, went, we don't. We don't do anything like went, that in Ireland. I, <laughs> if you arrived in the U.S. and said, "Where's the crack?" Yeah, <laughs> they send, send you down. send you down a dirty alley somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you say, "What's the crack?" or "Where's the crack?" you may get sent down a dirty alley, but you will have fun. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's good to know. That's, okay. that's good to know. So it's actually a Gaelic gotcha, word. Okay. So it, unlike the the drug crack, it's which is C-R-A-C-K, uh -huh. this is C-R-A-I-C, oh, crack. Okay. So the vowels in, in Gaelic are a lot different than... Ah, very different, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And even from town to town, they'd be different. Okay. Okay, okay. So what's the crack? That's a big one. It's crack. like, what's up? What's up, what's basically, up? keep passing. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, cool, yeah, cool. yeah, it's nice, it's good. All right, do you have any others? I do, I do, I do. So, so if you were out last night, and one of, one of, you, one of your friends asked you, how are you? Mm. You would probably I'd say, what's the crack? And you'd go, oh man, I'm knackered. Knackered. Yeah. This one I think I know. Okay. It's like, I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted. Very tired. I'm knackered. I'm bait. I'm base. Bait. 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 So if, if I was to physically assault you, uh -huh. I would beat you up. Well, don't do beat. that. Uh, no, no, <laughs> uh, no, no, man, you give me food. You're cool. But I, if you put I that I gave you cochine. We're, we're brothers now, right? <laughs> yeah, right, man. <laughs> but in the past tense, beat would be bait in Irish, Irish English. I burn in Irish. Okay. So I'm bait. I'm bait. So I'm after taking a beating, but it's 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 metaphorical. It's idiomatic. Okay. Okay. So okay. I'm bait. I'm like, oh, I'm very tired. Not that you're actually gonna beat me up because no. we do have this stereotype in in the states that Irish are like no, not fight at all, and not at angry. all, not at all. No, that's that's only the American Irish. Yeah. Okay. Over here, we're extremely passive. I'm 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 noticed that the Irish are very nice. You're very lucky. You're in the friendliest city in Am Ireland. I? Yeah. There you go, guys. Like I I, I notice that like the Brazilians who come over uh -huh. can't believe it. People are they walk down the street and people go, hey, how are you? Or stop them and ask them how they are. And the Brazilians are like checking their phones and their wallets, going, oh my god, what's going on here? And it's like no. No, 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 it's cool. We're just asking. Yeah, our, our taxi driver, the nicest guy. Did he stop talking? Uh, a little bit. A little bit? A little oh, bit. Okay. He, he, he wasn't like It must have been an off day. Uh, okay. <laughs> Usually you can't stop them talking. Or a famous one from where I'm from, West uh -huh. Park. How's she cutting? How's she cutting? How's she cutting? How's she cutting? Yeah, nice. How's she cutting? So you drop the G at the end. How's she cutting? How's she cutting? So and what how, is that? So I suppose because there's a lot of farming, it's a rural place. It's about so a cow. You no, know, it's no? about your threshing machine, your combine harvester, that kind of a thing. So how the is farm she cutting? Equipment. Today? Yeah, your farm. Oh, equipment. how is she cutting? How the... is she cutting? Yeah. Ah, and also okay. because we'd have a lot of wheat or barley or crops. You could do it physically, manually uh -huh. as well. So how is the grass cutting today? Oh, how's so not cutting? the machine, the grass. Yeah, it how's can be both. Today? It can be both. Yeah. Okay. So how's she cutting? And that can also be used like, what's up? What's up? How's, how's it going? going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's oh, she cutting? Uh, mighty. Nice. Yes. Mighty. Nice. Mighty. 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 So mighty. Oh, mighty. If, if it's going well. Yeah. If you're doing Absolutely. okay. Yeah, or if you don't want to talk to the person. Oh, okay. You'd say, how's like, it going? Mighty. And then you just go, go away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you know when you ask someone how they are, do you, you don't really, do you really care, want to know. Right? No, 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 you don't. No. Yeah. Okay. Another one. What's that got to do with the price of cabbage? Like what's what does that have to do? I, I, it's funny. The first thing I thought of was a Brazilian expression. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it, it's like um, 
What does that have to do with anything? What does that like, have to do with anything? What does this anything? have to do with that? Exactly. So yeah. again, back to your bar, or back to your, uh, the bar, you're talking to your friends, somebody yeah. starts talking about politics, you're like, we're talking about football. Uh -huh. So your politics, what's that got to do with the price of cabbage? And you turn around and you continue <laughs> your football conversation. I love it. Another expression from the, like, the countryside. From yeah. the country, but it's an awesome. immediate put down as well. Oh, really? Yeah. So you're just like, what's that got to do with the price of cabbage? Like, shut up. Yeah, go away. Yeah. Shirt is nothing. I got it in pennies for the fiver. Oh, hold on. we gotta break this one up. Sh sure. Sure. Tis nothing. Sure, tis nothing. I got it in pennies for the fiver. I got it in pennies for the fiver. Uh huh. <laughs> That's the most Irish thing I've heard. Today. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what it means, but no. it sounds so Irish, it's unbelievable. Okay. okay. So, so Irish people, they cannot take a compliment. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so if I said to you, oh, I really like your jumper. Uh, okay, instead of you saying, oh, why, thank you. Oh, thank you for the compliment. That's very nice of you. You'd, you'd put it down in your show. Ah, this old thing. Tis nothing. Sure, I got in pennies for the fiver. Tis nothing. Sh sure. Sure. I got it. I got it. In pennies. In pennies. For a fiver. For a fiver. So, uh, pennies would be, I think in America you call it JC Maxx. Oh, uh, we have penny, yeah. We yeah. have pennies also. Yeah, okay, but so it's, pennies, it's, yeah, so it's yeah. very cheap. So it's, okay. You can get a whole outfit of, for 10 euros. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. I was thinking pennies was like pennies on the dollar. Like, yeah, like yeah, our, yeah. Our change that we have. Our, yeah, that's probably where they got the name from. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Could be. Okay. You yeah. gave it to me too easy. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. I'm scarlet for you. I'm, I'm scarlet. I'm scarlet for you. Um, I don't know, I can't understand. <laughs> yes! Mission I'm, complete. I'm scarred. Scarlet. Scarless. Scarlet. Scarlet. For you. For you. So scarlet. I'm scarlet for you. Like scarlet color in your face? Good. Scarlet? Yeah. Okay. For you. For you. Yeah. I like you. No. No? No. When, when, when would you go red? When you like somebody. Ooh, you're so romantic. No. <laughs> when you're embarrassed. For me, it's when I'm when I'm drunk. When okay. I drink, because I turn red when I drink. Yeah. But okay, so when you're embarrassed. When you're embarrassed, sorry, I'm or, scarlet for you. I'm, so so when you're I'm scarlet. So I'm embarrassed. Okay. I'm scarlet for you. I'm embarrassed for you. Ah. So you, we're back. We're back in the pub. You uh -huh. fall off the bar stool. Yeah. And I'd say, Haha, I'm scarlet for you. <laughs> All the girls saw you. Oh no. You know? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. ah, I like that one. I'm okay. scarlet for you. Cool, well, Rob, I really appreciate and your all time. Dude, that was excellent, I quite enjoyed that. Thank yeah, me too. Me Do too. I get more? <laughs> you can finish the one we have. Yes. I think we have a few more there cool. if you want. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Então, gente, espero que vocês tenham gostado do vídeo. Uh, de novo, vou falar sobre a promoção do IC Group para meus seguidores. Uh, vocês só precisam seguir o link no, embaixo desse vídeo uh, para descobrir mais sobre como vir aqui na Irlanda estudar com o IC Group. Isso, gente. Tchau, tchau. Tchau.